Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today we are hiking Lindemann Lake here in Chilliwack, BC. This is part of our BC road trip. This is just a short and easy one. This is around 3.5K total with about a 300 meter elevation gain. So this is gonna take us no time at all, but it is such a beautiful trail. I just love BC trails. They are very scenic, very lush, very green. So I can't wait to keep going and show you guys what the lake looks like. So I'll see you in the next clip. Somebody to show the way Yeah, I was a heartbeat with no sound Till you came around Yeah, you show me colors Light in the darkness You were the only thing I needed Then we got older But we stayed the same Swear that we never lost the flame No song We are 1.4K into the hike. I am drenched, as you guys can tell. It is very humid here in BC, and I'm not used to it, but it's good. It's a good workout. This one is short and steep, so I believe we're almost at the lake, but it is quite the climb to get here. I do wish I brought at least one hiking pole. I left all my gear in the car, including my backpack. I just have like a small pack with me right now with like not that much stuff. I'm carrying most of it. So I think I should have brought my backpack. And yeah, we're almost there. So I'll update you guys at the lake. Hey guys, so we've made it to this big rock. That's literally what it's called on the All Trails Trail map and it is huge as you can see so i i don't know it's so crazy this thing is like in the middle of the forest surrounded by trees it is insane but yeah we are almost at the lake we have a little bit of a ways to go i think maybe 500 meters from here so far so good this trail is absolutely beautiful if you are in the bc area even if you live in vancouver it is worth the drive here so i'll see you guys further along the trail What if the years turn into gold? The longer we live, yeah, the more we grow We could be hundred miles apart But it's never far Yeah, you show me colors, light in the darkness You were the only thing I needed Then we got older, but we stayed the same Swear that we never
we have made it to Lindemann Lake. It is really, really beautiful up here. It's definitely worth the grind to get here. I do wish I brought some things with me though. I didn't bring my backpack. I didn't bring my poles. And I think poles are pretty good for the way down. So I recommend those. Also good hiking boots to do this trail is definitely recommended as well because it is quite rooty and quite rocky. But this is the beautiful Lindemann Lake. It is so pretty. And as you guys can tell, it's been a quite a rainy day today so the sky is very moody but it makes the lake look really beautiful at the same time it's really foggy over there so that is that I'll continue up the trail and kind of show you guys the back of the lake but we're taking our photos here I think that this is one of the best spots to do them so that is all I will see you guys in the after hike summary like a symphony of a memory to my after hike summary for Lindemann Lake. So this one was one of my BC road trip hikes. I honestly had way more on my list. I thought I would go hiking at least four times. I like going to the coast and just knocking off a bunch on my bucket list because I don't get to go there as often. You know, it's a 12 hour drive from Calgary. So I get to go there like maybe once a year. So I try to do as much as I can during my road trips. However, this time around, the weather was really crappy and it was raining the whole entire time we were there. So I could only do like two hikes this year. But this was one of them and this one was a really, really good one and I'm glad I got to experience it even though it was super short. This was a beautiful, beautiful trail. Stats on this one are 3.7K total round trip with an elevation gain of 284 meters. Definitely a shorter hike for sure, but you get all of the rewards on this one. The trail is absolutely stunning. The road here actually wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. I was expecting, you know, dirt, gravel road, mountain, in, what is it called forest service road or maybe like a logging road or something but this one was actually quite good it was paved throughout the whole entire way there so 
it was very similar to hiking in somewhere like Kananaskis. It's also very close. If you live in Chilliwack, I'm sure you've been here already, but it is pretty close to the town. It's not a long drive at all if you are close to Chilliwack and that sort of thing. But yeah, it is a beautiful trail. It takes you through an old growth forest. Very, very pretty, very, very green and lush. I th think it's been raining quite a bit there as well. So the conditions were actually not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. I thought I was gonna get a super muddy, soupy mess of a trail, but it actually was pretty decent. This trail is really well marked, both on all trails and in real life. There is actually signage, which is really nice and not just random trail markers. It was kind of raining most of the day that I went and then it stopped briefly for most of the hike actually and then it started pouring afterwards so i got really lucky when it came to weather on this one and the mountains that surrounded this hike had this kind of like low lying fog around them and it almost gave me like twilight vibes <laughs> it was so beautiful and this trail features streams it features river crossings via bridges okay it's not just like you're going to be running across the river there's bridges on this one there is is, you know small little waterfalls throughout the whole trail it's just very relaxing there is some steep sections but nothing too crazy steep however I feel like you do get a workout on this one this is not a trail that I would say is too easy you do definitely get a workout when you're hiking this one and eventually you get to Lindemann Lake. Lindemann Lake is a beautiful turquoise mountain lake. And I actually expected there to be people there camping or something like that, but there was no one. There is also a helipad up there, something to note. And yeah, you can definitely go camping up there. You can take your paddleboard with you and do some paddleboarding. We actually passed two people that were coming up on the trail when we were leaving and they had their paddle boards with them. I'm like, that's actually a great idea, you know, to come back and paddle board here on a nice sunny day. But overall, it is a beautiful hike, beautiful lake. If you are driving to Vancouver from Calgary and you kind of just want a short hike along the way, just like a nice little stop, to stretch your legs maybe, this is a good trail for that. So that is all for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.